guys, welcome back to Sega Spark Weekend. Today we bring to you Herzog's Sway. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, here's a Sega Ages uh, game that came out uh, last year, and I kind of wanted to get into this. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we could play original mode, although I don't know how to play this game, and I tried playing it once, didn't really figure it out, but I found out there's an academy. We are doing this. <laughs> Apparently this is a whole new thing. <laughs> oh my god, you're adorable. Hey Sogsway, this is a training ground for commanders to learn how to survive in the heat of battle. First of all, there's something I need to tell you rookies who wandered in here. Oh yes, when I was looking at the uh, store on the Switch, and I saw this, this was the first image I saw was of this kid and I was like, what is this? <laughs> then I saw like the other screenshots of the game and I was like, huh, okay, you have my curiosity and you have my interest. Let's see what we got here. So I think this is like, I've never played the original game. So I don't know if like she's represented in it or not, but from what I'm guessing as a uh, first impression like she was just created for this for the Sega ages all right first of all there's something I need to tell you rookies who wanted any oh we already said that this is a tough game I repeat this is a tough game oh that's adorable oh she's throwing a Genesis controller many commander candidates went into battle not knowing anything and paid the ultimate price they tossed away the controller yelling I don't get it oh she's wearing an Alex Kidd shirt this is adorable. <laughs> but you'll have nothing to fear if you master the basics here. Alright, let's begin the lesson. First, I want you to understand the general flow of the game. You know what? That's a really... is. I think this is a 3D model. Made very well to look like a 2D character. Just from the way like her head's moving and stuff like that, I'm guessing this is 3D? Although, I could be totally wrong. The animation could be just that cool. <laughs> Herzog's Way is a real-time war simulation game where the land of Arya is divided by two factions. The rebel army led by Ludwig. And the government army led by Balsaga. OG artwork right there, I'm guessing. By the way, the two used to be friends. You can change which army you play in the configuration mode, but the default choice is the Rebel Army. This lecture will be taught using the Rebel Army, because Rebel Army sounds cooler, and their team is th is color red. Red color. This is the map of the game. You'll be looking at it a lot, so I want you to get familiar with it. There's a main base in each army and nine outposts. The big red and blue squares on the map are the main bases. The smaller squares are outposts, occupied outposts which have the color of the army that owns it, while unoccupied ones will be white. Holy crap, this beanie's hot. Much better. The objective of the game is to take outposts and to ultimately capture the main base of the enemy. Now look at this screen. The meter on the right side of the enemy's meter, oh, is the enemy's meter. The meter with a B represents the durability of a main base. B probably stands for base, so that's easy to remember. Now we will show your army attacking the enemy's main base. Check it out. But I must warn you that if buttons are pressed without thinking, a weird screen might appear which could cause you to panic, so be careful. Be wary of pressing X or up on the D-pad, since that's the pause button. You might wonder why things aren't moving, but this isn't a bug. In, ca in this case, take a deep breath and press X again. <laughs> How polite of telling us that we might accidentally push the pause button. <laughs> Can we get her in the next Sega All-Stars game? And like her, I don't know, All-Star could be doing tutorials or something. <laughs> She's just so adorable. <laughs> this can be said about all the lectures, 
but I recommend pressing plus to open the pause menu and restart the lecture if you mess something up or need to review. Yes, now pay attention for real this time. Okay, I see someone's going up on that screen up there. Alright, did you notice the B meter going down? I did, actually. You win by attacking the enemy base like this and bringing the B meter to zero. <laughs> Look at that little smug fa Dude! I'm okay with this being a one-off just because I love this character already! This character has so much personality. It's like, you know what? You're worth it. You're worth the price. Building up forces, fight, occupy posts, and take their base. That is your duty as a commander. Phew, keeping up so far? Haven't tossed your controller away yet? Right here. This game has a bit of learning curve, but is really fun once you get used to it. Repeat the things you learned in this lecture, and remember the controls and process. The quick That's the quickest way to become a competent commander. Alright, that's it for the first lecture. In our next lecture, we'll cover how to control the mechs. I'm going to send you back to the start menu now. Choose the next lecture from this menu. Yes, I would like to actually know how to play this game, really. <laughs> that is all. Crawl onwards to the next battle. Alright, before we do actually lecture two, uh, let me show you original mode. Let's see how this game plays out. It's been six minutes already. Holy cow. I thought it's been like three minutes or something. Uh... Start. <laughs> Sega. Airzog's way. Copyright Technosoft. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I think, remember correctly, we want to go this way. I think there's an enemy mech right over here, too. I'm firing at you! Ah, damn it. <laughs> Wrong button. I have no idea what I just did. I died? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why do I keep blowing up? See, this is why you need tutorials. Alright, he conquered a bit. Why do I keep... I flew all the way over there before! Okay, uh... I have no idea what the frick is happening. Alright, so that's what his pause is. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Back to the lectures. <laughs> Back to Chibi McArmy Girl. <laughs> hey, Sogsway! This is the training ground for commanders to learn how to flexibly survive the heat of battle. Yes, please teach me. I have no idea what I'm doing. This will be our first lesson about fighters, movement and energy of fighters. Both armies have fighters, unlike the other units. Fighters are controlled by the player. This is the fighter. It doesn't have a name yet. You could give it a name if you want it. Something cool like Styx or Rhinex. You can move with the that. Alright. 
Were you able to fly? Hope you didn't experience G-Lock. Why are we looking up a man's crotch? Maybe you ignored my orders and didn't fly at all, but I'll just assume you did and move on. Next, I'll explain about energy of fighters. Fighters have energy which is expended from the fighter moves. The meter on the top left are yours. The meter with the E shows how much energy is left. E is probably abbreviation for energy, so remember that. The E meter decreases whenever you move. You can see that the meter is no longer full. If the meter empties entirely, the fighter will explode into bits. But no need to panic, it will eventually revive in the main base, as if nothing happened. Let's not worry about how that works. Now I will teach you how to regain lost energy. Lost energy can be restored over time if you land the fighter in the main base. Try it out. The main base is the red square on the bottom right of the map. Go back there before you run out of energy to charge up. By the way, like I said earlier, you can actually go back to the main base even if you run out of energy, although the fighter will be blown to oblivion. Yeah, we experienced that. Many times. At any rate, try fully charging your energy. Okay, I'm seeing my energy meter. It's it's going down like a son of a bitch. I was right there. Damn it. Well, maybe that's what my problem was. I kept leaving before I ran out before I uh, built up energy. Full, you'll be moving around a lot during battles, so make sure you recover when you're running low on energy. I could have used that info earlier. Glad I did this. That's it for the lecture, crawl onward to the next battle! Awesomeness of Transforming Robots This is a let's play, apparently, of tutorials. That's not Persona, and not annoying me, because adorableness. I'd point up if she was actually there. Adorableness. Alright. This time we'll focus on transformation. Well then. You may have suspected as much, but this fighter can actually transform! Oh. Wait, did you hear me? I It can transform! It's high-tech and cool! You're allowed to express your disbelief, you know! I'll move on. You'll get excited when you see it by yourself. For yourself. The current fighter is in a is an attack jet. It's fast, can attack the enemy fighter, and transport units. I'll talk more about transportation in a later lecture. For now, transform. All right, try to keep calm and press Y. Oh! Did you see, did you see that? It transformed, just like that. I freaking love her. In this soldier form, the fighter can attack enemy units that are on the ground. All right, let's try transforming one more time. Ready? Then press Y. See, I freaking love her. <laughs> it turned back. It's so cool. I want to see it from the sides. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it? <laughs> I lost my composure there. But as you can see, every time you press Y, you can bask in incredible transformation awesomeness. I mean, you can transform. She must love Robotech and Transformers. That's all I'm saying. Please keep in mind that you can't transform on uneven terrain, like on top of walls or in the sea. Transformation requires a flat, stable surface. That's it for this lecture. Crawl onward to the next battle. Gunshot! <laughs> so cute! This will be our third lecture on fighters. The fighter can shoot by pressing B. When it's airborne, it can only attack aerial units. And when it's on the ground, it can only attack ground units. Okay, I did not know that. I figured it would be either or. It didn't matter. Apparently not. Good to know. Here's a mission for you. Destroy the surrounding enemies. Yay! Alright, keep that up. There will be times when a fight is inevitable. As a matter of fact, it's common for the... Oh, hey, what's up, Evanito? Welcome back to your Switch, man. <laughs> there will be times when a fight is inevitable. As a matter of fact, it's common for the commander to lead the charge. Let's move on. Here are some basic principles about shooting. The amount of ammunition you have is represented by the G meter. The G probably stands for gun. It must. 
If this meter empties, you won't be able to shoot. That being said, it's uncommon for the fire to run out of bullets. You don't have to worry about it too much. Also, it's in, it's, it is possible to shoot your own units. Okay. Good to know. Friendly fire doesn't make you any friends, so be careful with that. One more thing, something important. Your shots cannot deal damage to the opposing main base. Oh. Okay. I was just gonna go willy-nilly fire away on the enemy base. Glad to know that doesn't work. Many commanders have tried and complained, but that's just how it is. <laughs> that's just how it is! <laughs> Units that are able to damage the enemy main base are limited. This is a key rule to this world. I will talk about units that can damage the enemy main base later. For now, just know that there's no point in heading into the enemy's main base on your own. Okay, I'm glad to know that. That's it for shooting, let's move on. If your fighter takes damage, the D meter on top left will decrease. This represents the durability of your fighter. We're not sure what the D stands for. The people who insist it means damage and those who insist it means danger bicker every day about it. This made me think about my Senron Kagura playthroughs where I just read text. At least this is more, a little more interactive than those episodes. Like the E meter, once the D meter depletes, your fire will explode. The explosion is very intense. Feel free to let the meter run out just to see what happens. <laughs> your fire will revive in your base. Like when you run out of E. Okay, that made me happy. Sonic rings, really? Oh my gosh! There are no penalties other than not being able to move for a while. You won't lose all your rings or anything like that. You might even want to explode on purpose. I love her. I just. I freaking love this character! Also, the D and G meters will recover over time when at the center of a base. Can we just have her return to other Sega games and just give tutorials? Like, can you imagine just seeing her pop up in Persona? Just be like, hey, this is how you do this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm just having way too much fun with this, so for some reason, I don't know why. Also, the D and G meters will recover over time when at the center of the base. All right, then. Let's take it. That's it for fighters. All right. Gotta hand it to her. She knows how to do a presentation. All right, so, so far I'm just gonna be doing this once. Uh, if you guys want me to continue with this and you wanna see more of her lectures, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to just get right to the gameplay, let me know in the comments below. I mean, yeah, just let me know what you want me to do with this game. I will take time and do a different game for tomorrow. So if you guys want me to continue this, just with the lectures, let me know. If you want me to continue just with the original mode, let me know. The This playthroughs, if there's more than one episode's fate, is in your hands. See y'all soon. Or if you don't want me to play it at all, just let me know in the comments below.